Okay. We talked about how cell phone service was actually affecting police radios. Uh -huh. Are you guys doing all right today? Well, our uh, radio systems are doing well today. We're not having any issues with the radio systems. We are still having some issues with cell phone service. We don't know exactly what that cause is. We still think it's because of the number of people that are coming in here and trying to log on and using uh, cell phones. We, we think that's what it is. Uh, we're in contact with cell phone companies trying to figure out, trying to get things straightened out at this, this point in time. It isn't really, those cell phones aren't really affecting our radio system. Our radio system is doing fine. It is just the cell phone usage is just hard to get on, as you guys probably experience that all the time. So. Is it possible at this point to estimate the, the cost of the damage or, or, or how much it'll take to rebuild or the percentage of homes and buildings yeah, affected? That, that, that's really, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's way too early to know that, but you can tell, you just look around and you say it's going to be a, it's, it's going to be at least in the millions of dollars. I mean, we know that just by, by looking at what's around us here, you know, knowing that it's, it's at least three counties wide that we're dealing with this and, and others. So. Uh, one thing I wanted to answer also is I had a question back here. Uh, some of the insurance folks and some of the professional people that are coming in doing estimates and those types of things on homes, cars, whatever it is, uh, if you will bring your credentials, we're going to let you in to do your job. We're not going to keep you out, okay? But what we don't want is, is we don't want an influx of people just coming in here saying we need to do this, we need to do that. If you don't have any credentials showing who you are and what you're there to do, you're probably not going to get in. So just keep that in mind if you're a professional person coming in trying to do those estimates and do those things. We're trying to make this as easy uh, as we can for the homeowners and the people that are affected and still try to keep a, uh, a, a for lawlessness from going on from the looters and all that. We have been very lucky so far. We have not taken one report of any looting in the three counties here that we cover that I'm aware of. And I know for sure in Clark County and I think the other counties are the same. So we're very lucky there and uh, we, we want to make sure we think part of that is because of what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? The other part is, is just people understand that there's a lot of people suffering right now and hopefully wouldn't do want to take advantage of anyone. But next person. Okay, good deal. Uh, yeah, what I've got now is real quick, I've got a couple of the commissioners here and I'm going to let them introduce themselves, okay, uh, and they're going to talk about some logistical stuff that's going to start probably Monday or Tuesday one, alrighty? Thank you. Well, thank you. Introduce yourself to them. Uh, my name is uh, Commissioner Young, Commissioner Meyer is here. Commissioner Meyer is going to speak to you guys about hospitals, schools, so Commissioner Meyer, would you want to, and then I will speak to you a little bit about the, the cleanup that we're going to do here in the future. Yes, Ed Meyer, County Commissioner. Uh, what we've been working out at the command center down at the REMC building, right down in Sellersburg, we have been in contact today. There was uh, a little bit of school board, really wasn't an official meeting, but they, the superintendent has announced that so our, uh, Henryville High School, Middle School, and Elementary will not have classes next week. Uh, they're going from there. They might look at modular classrooms. Uh, they're looking at everything they can to try to get the children back to some normal areas. Also, down here south of town, we've hit, we set up a mobile hospital. Uh, talking to the health department and Mike Meyer and uh, Dr. Burke, our health official, they are going to look at maybe giving some tetanus shots starting tomorrow. They have have been some people set in there today, some nurses there, uh, maybe tetanus shots, small medical procedures that they can do right there. The, there is a, a Clark Memorial Hospital clinic there. Right now they don't have electricity nor uh, water to really work inside, but there is a about a 40 foot hospital thing there. Uh, you talked about Charlestown High School where they've set up Last night they didn't have anybody, but in another area out here there were about 30 people that stayed out there the last night. So uh, the health department is trying to watch everything. They are concerned about the boil water and uh, the problems that might cause. So uh, Dr. Burke's really watching that too. But other than that, I think we've covered about everything here today that. that that I can think of. The school there. you said won't be, up, won't be having classes at all, or just won't be having classes at that location? They will not have classes at all next week, yeah. FEMA, we have been in contact with FEMA a little bit, and uh, we are watching all the bills and everything. Obviously, it's taxpayers' money, but uh, we are reporting every 12 hours what, what's kind of being spent there. Okay, thank you, Ed. As far as um, cleanup, uh, we're going to the gas company and the electric companies is going to start tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. We're going to start with the houses 
and uh, we're going to start checking out the gas to make sure all the gas and that's shut off. So probably Monday we will start doing, uh, after they get it all accessed, make everything sh sure everything's closed off. Monday we will probably start the cleanup. I know we have a lot of volunteers out there that want to come in and help, but we just can't have everybody rush in here. At that time then, we will coordinate with the volunteers. We're going to go grid by grid. We're going to start cleaning up block by block. We've got uh, dumpsters that's going to come in and we're going to spot the dumpsters. The dumpsters will be for your household debris. Uh, the rest of the debris, the trees and the brush, we will pow. If you can pow it next to the road, uh, the county road, the state roads, then our personnel will come in and pick that up. We have a 70 acre site down 31 that uh, they can bring. If you, want to, if you have transportation, you want to bring the debris, you can take it down there, we will take care of it. The rest of it we will take to our landfill. We have a Clark Floyd landfill. We own the, the landfill, so that the rest of that debris will go there. So what's your name, sir? Uh, I'm Commissioner Les Young. 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 Uh-huh. Normal spelling. <laughs> okay. Is there if there's nothing else, then we're good to go.